All right, what's on the bench? Uh, Finercy sent this in for a review. Uh, it is an LC1020E. It is a uh, uh, LCR meter. Uh, so yeah, I'm a big fan of LCR meters. So uh, let's see what uh, let's see what this one's about. Um, nice big chunky one, uh, and uh, has uh, places here to to shove in uh, parts, or you can add uh, uh, banana jacks. Um, let's see what else you come comes in the box. All right. I see something that's piquing my interest already down there. Yeah, this is nice. This is what you want to see. Uh, so it comes with these nice uh, Kelvin leads and uh, a uh, big thing here that shoves in, shoves into here. That looks good. And look at this. This is. This is the thing that piqued my interest. This is a, a calibration calibration tool. Uh, I had to make one because I was missing mine <laughs> on my other meter. But yeah, you use this to to short out uh, in the meter to do it to do a zero. So uh, charging cable comes with some regular uh, DVM leads. Um, let's go ahead and uh, power it on. See what it looks like. Yeah, uh, nice display. Uh, let's see here, first and second, so capacitance and D factor. Uh, so I guess this button does the top one. You can do L's or Z's or C's. Okay, let's go to C's. And then this one, you can go, go through all of these. So you can go to Q factor, uh, the theta, the, the angle of the phase. Uh, ESR and uh, reactants. Yeah, I really like it. All right, so that's easy. Frequency, uh, one kilohertz. Now I don't know how you can change that. Oh, here's the button down here. Let's zoom back out a bit here. So frequency, we can do 10 kilohertz. It goes up to 100 kilohertz, so that's, this is a great meter. Um, usually pay a real premium to get to 100 kilohertz. So, because uh, 100 hertz, 120, 110, and 100. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Okay, level 0.6 volts, 0.1 volts, 0.3 volts. So, this is good if you want to do like in circuit things. Uh, and we have offset bias offset. That's nice. Auto ranging. Uh, speed. What is speed? Oh, look at that. You can slow it down or speed it up. Oh, it's up here. Fast, slow, medium, and fast. Okay, we put on, put on medium. Yeah, very self-explanatory. I like it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this thing running. All right. Uh, so these are going to have force and sense. Um, in in the uh, in the contacts, and we have a PC board here, where it's one side and the other side. Uh, so when we slide it in, uh, I assume it is high. Here we go. It's marked high, low, and guard, so it goes in this way. Um, now we have these nice uh, we have these nice leads. We can click, click it on something. I just happen to have something here. 200 and 219 microhenries of inductance. So that is nice. Um, let's see here. Let's bring out some resistors to see how accurate it is. This should be very accurate. Yeah, look at that. 1.0000. I see that's pretty darn accurate. 9.999, yes, very accurate. Uh, so I'm happy so far, look at that. Very nice, and this is 10 mega ohms. See how it does there. Yeah, 10 point. 
I don't remember the uh, these these are these are 0 0.1 uh, 0.01 uh, percent resistors here, so they should be they should be darn good. All right, well I like that. Um, wow, what else to talk about it? Uh, I don't really quite know about the. Uh, this is kind of a interesting feature down here with the uh, multimeter leads. I can see that being good for troubleshooting a board, so let's give that a try. I don't know why they put this protector thing in there, just had to throw them away. Okay, let's put that in here. And let's go ahead and touch something we know. Wow, this thing's fast. This thing reacts super, super fast to figuring out if it's an inductor or capacitor or whatever it is. It's really, really fast. The fast, fastest I've seen so far. Um, let's see, it does have a flip up thing. There we go. So now I can photograph it better. Uh, do you have a PC board laying around? I have a PC board laying around somewhere. Uh, let's see. All right, so let's say you have a PC board and you want to test these, uh, test these capacitors. We can do that in circuit and see what it says. Uh, let's see here. Am I probing the right one? Yeah, let's see here. Let's probe this. Oops, there we go. I'm shocked at how fast this thing is. Uh, 10 microfarads, 0.2. Let's go to ESR. So we want to test the ESR of this uh, uh, 3.5 ohms for that one. Let's test this one over here. Uh, three ohms, and yeah, so that's going to work. That's going to work good. Here's a 0.1 micro micro uh, microfarad. Let's see if we can get that one. That's measuring 69, and uh, ohmage has gone up. Let's go ahead and change the frequency here. 10K, 100K, changing the uh, impedance or the uh, reactance, I mean. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it looks super accurate. Uh, measure the resistances. The way that these things work is uh, they are going to just take a look at a, 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 a they're going to put out something like a sine wave and they're going to look at the phase relationship be between inductors and capacitors and resistors. If there's no phase change at all, it's going to measure resistance. If there's a, you know, Eli the Iceman, right? It's a, if, if voltage before current, um, in an inductor and the other way around in a uh, in a capacitor. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let me see where my Cal. Here we go. I got some Cal standards right here for capacitance, uh, which are very rare. But I happen to have some. Okay, so these have been measured on very expensive equipment. Uh, so we have a real number here at 10 kilohertz. So we'll put this at 10 kilohertz. Let's go ahead and put our fancy, fancy leads back in. All right. And then let's put the uh, leads on this thing here. All right. So it's uh, 5.96.49, 9.96.32. .9 That's awful darn close. I say it's a winner winner, as they say. Yes, sir. Um, Let's see, that was a pretty big one. Let's look at a small one. Uh, let's see here, let's try, let's try this one. This one should be 1002.1, 100, okay. Pretty darn close. And uh, two picohertz. All right, this should be 2.065. 
Yeah, there we go. 2.4. So it's very, very good. Um, let's see if we can. It has a one picofarad offset. Let's see here. Let's see if we can do a uh, calibration on it. That doesn't seem to be obvious to me. How do you do the calibration? Stick this in. Is it the offset button? No. Not the offset button. Let me read the instructions. All right, to enter the menu, hold the OK button down. And now we're in the menu here. You can do sorting of parts. So you can set, you know, tolerances on parts and do sorting and things like that. English, brightness, volume. Yeah, let's turn the bright the volume down. I don't like the, I don't like the beep, but not too much of it. Off time, no. Calibration, there we go. Let's do calibration. There we go. Calibration short. All right, well, that took a long time. All right, now I can uh, use the arrows and say calibrate open. So I'll take this out and we'll do a, a calibration on that. And there we go. It, it does a lot of measurements and a lot of math. So I am, I am impressed. All right, so how do we do, how do we do the finish? Start, short, and finish. I'm going to get out of here and hold this down. There we go. Um, so uh, I think for the price, it's just, it's ridiculously low price for something like this. Uh, so there's no excuse not to have an LCR meter on your bench. Now they used to be quite expensive and prohibitive, uh, but a nice meter like this, oh my goodness, uh, I am impressed. Um, yeah. Uh, 222.22 microgram Risa. Maybe I'll have this as a Cal standard. <laughs> anyway, there you go. That's my review of the Finerci LC 1020E. Uh, wow, I just can't say better things about this. Uh, yeah, run out and get one.